Hi guys, let's look at the homework question of exercise 9b on the chapter matrices. Before we start, let's look at what we've done as a concept of this exercise. Here we talked about multiplication of a number with a matrix. So in case we are multiplying theoretically, let's say 2 is getting multiplied with 1 and 3. Basically, the number which is outside gets multiplied with each element of the matrix. So this would give us 2 and 6. So this is basically multiplication of a matrix with a vector, basically a number. Okay, now let's look at the homework questions of this exercise. The first question which was homework was question number two, part one. It says find X and Y where three times four X, that's matrix one, and this is matrix two is equal to 10, zero. Let's go ahead and multiply. When three multiplied with four will give us 12. Three multiplied with X will give us three X. That's the first matrix when it's the number has got multiplied. Let's multiply 2 with y. That's good. 2y. 2 into negative 3 gets negative 6. And this is equal to 10 and 0. Let's add the left hand side. In this case, 12 gets added to 2y corresponding elements. So 12 plus 2y. And 3x gets added to negative 6. And this is equal to 10 and 0. Now let's equate the corresponding element. 10, 12 plus 2y with 10. And 3x minus 6 with 0. So that gives us 12 plus 2y is equal to 10 and 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. This gives us 2y is equal to 10 minus 12. This gives us 3x is equal to 6. 2y is equal to negative 2. y is equal to negative 1. This gives us x is equal to negative 2. So we needed to calculate x and y. We can write it in the set form. x and y is negative 2 comma negative 1. Good. That brings me to the next homework question, which is question number three. So question number three is uh, find A plus 2C minus B. Oh, so we have A plus 2C. So this is A is 2, 1, 3, 0 plus 2C, which means plus 2 times C, which is negative 3, negative 1, 0, 0 minus B, which is 1, 1, 5 and 2. Right. Let's go ahead and add them. Before we add, let's go do this multiplication. So that would be 2, 1, 3, 0. That's the first matrix plus 2 into negative 3. That's negative 6. 2 into negative 1. That's negative 2. 2 into 0, 0. 2 into 0, 0. And minus 1, 1, 5, 2. Now let's add and subtract the corresponding elements. So this is 2 minus 6 minus 1. That's the first one. Next is 1 minus 2 minus 1. Here, this is 3 plus 0 minus 5. And the last element, 0 plus 0 minus 2. So this is equal to 2 minus 6 uh, minus 1. That's 2 minus 7. That's negative 5. Next would be 1 minus 2. That's negative 1 minus 1. That's negative 2. 3 minus 5. That's negative 2. And this is negative 2. So this is negative 5, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. That's the final answer. But let's look at the next homework question. The next homework question that we had was question number 4. It says, find A if this matrix plus 3 times A gives us this matrix. So what this tells us is 3 times A is equal to the matrix on the right hand side, which is negative 2, negative 2, 1, negative 3, minus if I take this matrix on the other side, it becomes minus, and this is 4, negative 2, 4, 0. Right? That gives us 3a is equal to, let's subtract the corresponding elements, negative 2 minus 4. Here, this is negative 2 minus negative 2, that's negative 2 plus 2. This is 1 minus 4, and this is negative 3 minus 0, which means 3a is equal to negative 6, negative 3, 0 and negative 3, which means A would be equal to 1 upon 3 of negative 6, 0, negative 3, and negative 3. Let's divide. So A would be equal to negative 6 multiplied with 1 upon 3, which is basically negative 2, 0 multiplied with 1 upon 3, which is 0, negative 3 multiplied with 1 upon 3, that's negative 1, and this is also negative 1. So the value of matrix A is negative 2, 0, and negative 1, negative 1. Good. That brings me to question number 9. It says prove 
3m plus 5n is equal to this if m is equal to this and n is equal to this. So 3m plus 5n would be equal to 3 times m which is 0, 1 plus 5 times n which is 1, 0. This is equal to 3 multiplied with 0, 0, 3 multiplied with 1, 3 plus 5 multiplied with 1, 5, 5 multiplied with 0, 0. When I add this becomes 0 plus 5, this becomes 3 plus 0. So this is equal to 5 and 3. So the matrix 3m plus 5n is equal to 5 uh, and 3. Perfect. Very, very, very simple. But still, let's go ahead and look at the last homework question from this exercise, which is question number 10. It says, if I is a unit matrix, we also call it an identity matrix. I hope you remember. And I is an identity matrix, which is basically a diagonal matrix of diagonal square matrix, basically where the principal uh, diagonal is 1. So if this is a 2 by 2 matrix, then this is 1, 0, 0, 1. Next, if I is a unit matrix of 2 by 2, find matrix M such that M minus 2i is equal to something. So M will basically be equal to 3 times negative 1, 0, 4, 1 plus 2 times i. Let's put it, uh, multiply and also replace i with uh, the given matrix. So that would be 3 times negative 1, 0, 4, 1 plus 2 times 1, 0, 0, 1. Let's multiply. This is negative 3. This is 0. 3 into 4, 12. 3 into 1, 3. And this is 2 times 1, 2, 0, 0, and 2. Let's add negative 3 plus 2. That's negative 1. 0 plus 0, that's 0. 12 plus 0, that's 12. 3 plus 2, that's 5. So this is negative 1, 0, 12, comma, 5. Not comma, that's 12 and 5. So that's basically the matrix M. That brings me to an end of this video. Hope you like the video. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to write in to me. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you with the next video. Bye-bye.